Welcome to the wife versus the expert. I'm the expert. She's the wife. And uh, this is your guide to our life, our marriage. And also hopefully we entertain you and also give you some things to think about as well. Uh, to hit us up at Denisha Danielle on Twitter at George Reister, or you can send us an email uh, as, as well. Links in the bio, all of these things. Uh, we appreciate your time, appreciate your energy. Please share the feed, tell a friend about it. If you can't watch the whole video, download the podcast wherever podcasts are found. Do you have anything to say, wife? I'm just so thrilled and excited to be here with you, so... <laughs> oh, that's the way you started off being facetious. Wow. How do you know I was it's, it, that didn't that's sound so gen, that didn't sound genuine. <laughs> that didn't sound genuine. No, it is. It is. Okay, it cool. Is. Um, we want to start today with our two hundred dollar rule. If this rule may not apply for everybody, maybe you need a different dollar limit because there are times that uh in our marriage we have fought about the one thing that everybody else fights about. Money. Money. So we have <laughs> created a rule that way you don't have to ask the other person to buy every single thing, but we created a $200 rule. So if I'm going to buy anything that's over $200, you got to run it by the other person and vice versa. So she bought $201 worth of makeup the other day. So guess who she had to... Because, because why? It doesn't matter why. No, I just, I, I get it. But I'm saying the reason you were buying into it was because why? I don't know why. Because I've been learning how to do like all these different makeup looks. Like every day I do a new, um, well, when I say I do it, people are confused. I follow, I follow a new makeup tutorial to get like new tips on doing makeup because I've never really done it. I've only had like one makeup look and sometimes I vary it a little bit. But literally, I don't do it. So I'm like, okay, well, this is a time to learn a new skill. And George knows how much I spend to get my makeup done. Oh, boy. And it's um, only one day. <laughs> and you wash it off that night. So so he's very much behind that process. So yeah, that's because that's a money saver. It's an investment up front, but right. it's on the way back. So I ordered two hundred and one dollars worth of makeup, which is a lot for I me. I thought I thought about just saying no, nah, nah, nah. We don't uh, need it. That's extra, just to just to mess with her. But I was on board. Oh, and I would say this: uh, order makeup through Costco. Really? Yes. They have like very, very, very high end, high end makeup, skincare, um, At hair Costco, and beauty. Though? Yeah, Costco Online. Okay. Costco okay. Online. Yeah, I they have they have them sometimes in there, but all of that, Costco is hands down the best place. I'm, Way cheaper. Like if you compare price side by side with Sephora and Costco, it's like unbelievably cheaper. See, I didn't know that. So I can do that for my skincare regimen. You regimen really do. Now. We really do. Okay. So see, that's how I got this. Everybody regimen. saw that farmer's tan. So they know you need to be putting some uh, sunblock up here. What? Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't even on the topic, but every time I take my shirt off, whether we're in a pool, shower, whatever, <laughs> every time, George, your face is a different color than your, than your body. It's so weird. Who I'm is like, that? Who says it like that? You. <laughs> You act you like I have like, like a, a grandma. It's so weird, sonny boy. <laughs> you act like I got like a body farmer stand. You do. You're you actually have a whole body farmer stand. This part is totally different from here. Are my arms same color? Mm, this part down. Wow. See, that's what happens. <laughs> I mean, so but anyways, the the two hundred dollar rule. You guys can try it out. It can be. It good. actually is good. I feel like, I don't feel like George has a thing with being controlled in his marriage, you know, so he doesn't like to have, you know, have restrictions, but I feel like he Because I'm a man. <laughs> I'm a man. Right. You're and like I'm a telling woman. me what to do. Right. And I'm a woman and I don't like to be told what to do, but. But that's my job. Be submit. Uh, we're not even going to get into that. <laughs> We are, um, it's a good way to work together. So if you buy something individually for yourself, there's that. But then it's also, um, you know, and it depends. Like, what is your dollar amount that you feel comfortable with? Yeah, it I could know. be a $50 rule, a $20 yeah. rule, a 
hundred, two hundred dollar rule. And for some people, they, it could could be a thousand dollar rule. You never know, depending on your social economic status. My goal status. is to like work you down, like start you at two hundred and then get you down <laughs> to ten dollars. <laughs> see, see, control, I'm joking. control. I'm, see, that's I'm what totally I'm joking. Um, kind of. And that brings us to the next thing, uh, DIY. That. Um, this whole coronavirus has taught us things about DIY, do it yourself, B- because there are certain things that, yes, you do need to outsource because it's a poor use of your time and your skill, because like, like me trying to fix the toilet is not a good use of my time because I can be doing some other things that could be uh, revenue generating or whatever than fixing the toilet because fixing the toilet means I got to learn how to fix the toilet and then fix the toilet. I disagree. What? I completely disagree because we've had this discussion before. We had a running toilet in our house and George called the plumber and it cost $50 to fix the running toilet. Why did he do that? It literally fixing the running toilet. I happen to know this from apartment owning apartment buildings and running selling apartment buildings. Is it's a usually it's the little the little flap thing or the chain thing or something like that that's making that I was just toilet, toilet not run properly. But I will say this: there is so much like to tag on to what you're saying about DIY. There is so much to learn on YouTube. That you can literally put anything in. Like how to fix a running toilet, I am sure. Had you done that, which we we weren't in the habit of doing that before. Yeah. But like had you, d- now we're in the habit of doing everything. Well, like I'm like how to, how to give yourself a pedicure. <laughs> <laughs> how to do your, how to do a dry bar blowout. Like I am literally. I thought you were getting ready to say how to do a drive by. That was funny. I was like, how to do a drive. Oh, you said dry bar, dry bar. But uh, like, I'm literally learning so many different skills that I was previously spending a lot of money on just because I was in the habit of doing that. And now that we're doing that, I, I was saying, like, I remember when that came up, I was like, why didn't you just YouTube it? Or even when, when I fixed the, um, the pool pump. Remember the pool pump was giving an error message? Oh, yep. And I Googled that error message, found the fix, and literally was able to fix it with just some silicone, which I know for a fact, if we would call the pool man, it would have been $100 plus. So that being said, go to YouTube to do almost anything. It's like a classroom, like anything. Almost anything. And maybe everybody's looking at us like, duh. They're like, you <laughs> everybody been doing don't that? Do I'm telling you, everybody doesn't do it. But now I'm doing do it, it for everything. No, everybody doesn't do it. Um, okay, so, oh, teaching Roman. Yeah. So we have been doing something to teach Roman, the, the baby. He'll be 12 months in like two weeks, right? So uh, apparently, what are those books that you ordered? The the author? Oh. Anyways. Well, maybe tag it. Yeah. yeah something um, like that. But he's... he's got a whole system, right? So, he's a baby. I know that we don't think babies can read and all this stuff, but apparently they can from reading these books. And so we have these, she made these handy dandy signs, and we go over them every day for all the kids. You know, daddy, mommy, Devin, did... Caden, Peyton, everybody <laughs> has a sign. Messing with my flashcards. And they're that large, by the way, for a reason. That's the that's the size. And it's in red Sharpie because that's eye attracting to babies. And here's what dad did for math. Because, so this is one. That's one. Because apparently, if you really think about it, um, we teach the number one as one. But that's not one. That's actually a, a symbol that represents a value. So... You see that? All these dots. <laughs> Poor Roman. Poor Roman. <laughs> All these dots. You see? This is number uh, 56. This is number 84. So apparently he's going to be able to figure this out all the way till we get to number 100. 100 dots. Yeah. So <laughs> it took, <laughs> just, so it, just so everybody knows how many dots that that is, that is... 
5,055 dots, if, if my math didn't fail me, that we stuck on these things. On yeah, while things. we were Netflix and chilling, we just made these little dot flashcards. And... Until 3 in the morning. Yeah. And I was hella tired the next day, but she had taken a three-hour nap. So 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 she was just Oh, fine. now it's three hours, because a couple days ago, it was like, oh, because you took a two-hour nap. Now it's No, three. it's been three hours since since the beginning. So that's one thing that we've been doing. I needed that. That is an option for you. We ordered all the stuff from, from Amazon. Amazon for like 40 bucks. It's very doable. But uh, I think everybody right now is homeschooling on some level because yeah. that's probably something we would have been like, oh, we'll take our our son to this class. Again, this is like do some research, things that you can do yourself. And literally this takes like five, 10 minutes. We're not, con we're not conducting like classes. It's just yeah. when he's happy and and paying attention we just go through flashcards with him and yeah, super we quickly. haven't seen the results yet but um that's another thing i mean finding new ways to homeschool your kids i did a zoom call with Make my fun. friends um with some of my friends for a birthday the other day and all of the moms were had different viewpoints on what their schools were doing for their kids and why they thought either they were going to think about transferring schools, think about requesting reductions in tuition, or doing it themselves. So this is just something to keep in mind that there are options available online. Khan Academy, I mean, it's probably the favorite. I'm sure most, most parents know about it, but if you don't, there's also other options on there. Um, and if you're looking to do your own education, there are Harvard classes. Yep. For free. Yes. So if you really learn it, interesting, something. cool one. So if you are looking to add like a new skill during this time, because we've got at least. Yeah, like that's not for your kids. That's for you if you 30 more go. days. Like, this is a good opportunity. Maybe take a Harvard class online. Yeah. So, so uh, I think that for us, just learning and could really considering non traditional learning tools and all of that, because we get so stuck sometimes in the way we learn things and how this is supposed to be done. But in reality, we really want our kids to be what healthy, productive, smart people and smart is not always being able to, to it's not always measured in uh, standardized test scores, right? It's being able to think properly, uh, being able to solve problems, figure out answers and come up with solutions yourself. Yeah. And then just also, I mean, I think I saw a meme about it, but I think it's so important to teach your kids other life skills, cooking, gardening yeah. um you know even landscaping like we we have been in the habit of sending our kids to school and if there's a gift that comes out of this like coronavirus family time it's really teaching them other stuff we play monopoly games which trust me i use many many <laughs> opportunities to give like real estate tips and advice there's also um if you have older kids uh, cash flow um, made by this, the maker of Rich Dad, Poor Dad. It's like advanced real estate. So it's like almost like advanced monopoly, but you learn more advanced concepts in real estate. And I think it's it's so important to not just bond, but you know, really give this an opportunity to teach your children life skills and uh, not just what we, you know, the standard core curriculum that we've been teaching our kids. Yeah, because think about all the things you didn't know when you got older, yeah. you know how to necessarily balance a checkbook. You didn't know how to cook. You know how to clean up. You didn't know how to, like like you said, garden. You know how to, you know, just fix a doorknob. Yeah. Just all sorts of things that they may need to know that they can learn how to problem solve. How to make a You, you were teaching uh, Damon how to do pulled pork yesterday. Yeah. Taught, like taught teaching him. him how to grill. Yep. Smoke, but yeah. Smoke, grill, yeah, te whatever. Teach them how to light, light the fire, why you clean it a certain way, all of these things. The way they, they know the way that they feel comfortable because I always uh, love the fact, like when we go on vac vacation, like we have, we go camping, so well, glamping, I guess, because we're in, in a cabin, <laughs> but teaching them stuff like how to tie up a boat how to pull it into a dock, how all of these things, the way when they get older and they have to do these things with their family, they're not intimidated to do them. That They're like, no, 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 I, I know how to do that. I know how to start a fire. I know how to do this. I know how to do that. I think that that's the most important thing that you can teach them is to ha be courageous and to go out in the world and do new things. Like I want to learn how to use a compass gun the way I can teach him how to do, use it because they'll probably never need it. Wait, how, how to use a compass good? 
Yeah, how like, do, like all you do is no, but how it, navigating with a compass is not just just straightforward like that. See, that's exactly why she needs to learn how to use a compass too. Uh, I need to learn how to use a compass good. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I'm wondering, have people figured out people with families? I'm not talking about you single, you single people, or you living your best life, yeah, or you sleeping new, in, or you new relationship having newlyweds with no kids. We're not talking to you. We're talking about people with kids, parents, parents. <laughs> How the hell are you supposed to have a date night during coronavirus? I mean, I know. We kind of have our date walks, but they're always like agenda. They're not like just hanging out. We're always like... And we got a baby thing. with us. Yeah. So if you guys have any thoughts or That's suggestions on how to how to plan a sexy date night. Mm. So we get baby number six. <laughs> oh, um, God. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Um, during, uh, coronavirus, send it to us, uh, leave a comment. We are definitely interested in that, but, the th uh, I want to know when we get off of stay at home orders, mm -hmm. what's the, what are the first three things that you're going to do or the three things that you want to do the most? I want to get back on my gym program where I go to orange theory I do my workout early morning and and then come back and have the rest of my day. That's a big one is is going to the gym. Um, this Corona has made me want a gym at home more. That's probably, I mean, I could do that, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I, I would be on board with that. Yeah, I would rather. But I it. do like to be able to act, not like move the, the living room around. No, no, like, I'm talking about like, like put you know like I mean? a like, mat down in there, put yeah. a, a rack, all we'll, those things. We'll have to like make a plan for that. But yeah, I think and then that we can put a, a screen in there too so you can watch videos if you want to. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And then we can save some of that gym money too. It'll be an investment up front, but yeah, ain't no reason. And then we can train these children's here too. Oh God, you love yeah. that. <laughs> Wait, that's, I'm just thinking we need like a air conditioner and because in the summer it'd be crazy hot hey that's all right old school old school hot i like it no, Ugh, get I that work be, i want to be comfortable it's a workout you're supposed <laughs> to sweat but i want to be comfortable wow <laughs> uh the top three things that i want to do when i uh when we get off of orders first thing i'm doing when we get off of orders is i'm not going no damn where because I'm gonna let y'all test out the waters and see <laughs> how it one. goes. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go to the gym right away. No, I'm not going nowhere really. For, for like the first month, nah, I'm gonna let y'all see how this goes. Good idea. And then once 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 y'all either make it or don't make it, and eh, then we'll make a decision <laughs> from there. Uh, the first, but the top thing I want to do is I want to go to my kids' games. No, I want you to go to the barber first. Your first stop and the kids' first stop is the barber. Because that's one thing you, cuts, re boy. you refuse to DIY. I'm not learning how to cut my hair, Denisha. That, do it's... you understand that, that you you sometimes make television appearances and you could just zip, zip, zip and no, do it yourself niche, if you spend a little bit of time? No, that's an outsource. That is a you're going to change, the barber. You're going to change your mind about that because you. I'm telling you, if you can do it yourself, it will change your life in terms of how much time you, when you go to the barber, how much time does that take when you take the kids? Mm, about two hours. Exactly. That's a lot of time. Actually like, like an hour and a half. And you have to do it minutes. pretty re repeatedly, right? Yeah, like yeah. every two weeks. That's every that's week. Well, many I, I hours. Go, yeah. That's many, many hours. Yeah. Just saying. It still take hours to just do it. Just try at, at it. Home. Why don't you just, Try it. I'm not confident. Wait, if you don't have any, listen, we have another month. Oh, so I so I can screw my head up and yeah, nobody and will know. <laughs> it, was, it can't look worse right now. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it can. <laughs> no, it How am I supposed to record videos with with a bad fade? I I'd rather have this load. I think it would be funny. I don't. I rather have this TWA. The but team I think Afro. that you trying to do it yourself is actually. Thoughtful. I'm yeah. telling you, it's All a right. good use of time. She's trying to wear me down. This is what this woman does oh when when she's got a thought I and am opinion. Sharpening you, iron sharpens iron. 
I'm when sharpening she, you. When she has a thought about something, have you have you guys ever met anybody who is relentless about it? Like they will not let it go under it. I mean, like she'll bring it up. Like, oh, have you, you know thought what about I, cutting You know what hair? I think we should do? This is, I'm challenging you, George. I'm challenging you to do this. I don't have prides around in this, so oh, so, so that challenge working. won't work. <laughs> Challenges only work when, when pride is involved. Um, second thing is I would like to have a date night or at least be able to go to the movies all by myself. <laughs> what? God, I like going to the movies He's all like, by myself. I'd like to have a date night or go by myself. <laughs> you really want to go by yourself, which is fine because I, I would like, to go by myself places, but to my do what? places to do what you like. Well, guess around. what I want. I will definitely not be doing anymore. What my hand in stone. You won't. No, what? I'm not going in there and getting a massage where some other coronavirus patient was laying down <laughs> and had this lady bending over my face. I honestly think that we should try to find some sort of like, uh, like get one of those tables, mm -hmm. right? A massage table and have. A, like a massage table slash facial table. Okay. You know what I mean? So yeah. then we just have the person kind of come to us. And okay. We, and we're only exposed to that one person. And, um, and maybe we, we save some money. I'm not you know, mad long, at that. Long run. But, but, but people are looking at this like, like these are like caviar problems. No, but like I'm saying like, if you spend money, one oh, thing that I love to do was it. like my time, like you go to the movies for yeah. your time, right? One of the things I like to do is go to a massage for my time. Yeah. But now that's not really, you know, really what I want to do. Yeah. Okay. Well, how about I just, um, or you could, you could rub me down. Oh, but yeah. then I have to be around you. See, I don't get my time. See, exactly. So, so, <laughs> so now I think I think about this. So I get to go to the movie. I love to go to the movies all by myself. So I can come in here in the man cave. Uh huh. Be like, babe, I'm gonna watch a movie right. all by myself, right? And not be bothered for yeah. like two. Cool. Yes, this week why I'm doing that, it. Why would no, you I'm do just that? I'm just saying it the way I'm gonna be like, kids. But yeah, daddy's see, not you... daddy's not here. Don't bother oh, me. Oh no, you got to do it when the kids, the kids, uh, not everybody's going crazy. It cannot be during a crazy kid time. It can be at oh. late night. It can be, um, yeah, okay, I would cool. say late night. Yeah. No problem. No Just problem. Just long as daddy no gets. No problem. We're going to have our own individual self date night. Dang, dang, dang. Um, and the last <laughs> thing I want to do is I want to travel and granted, um, I don't know if she's going to be cool with getting on airplanes and all that stuff initially. And like I said, a month in. Well, for, I'm for the me. travel bug. Like, I'm the one who always wants to travel. Um, we are considering an RV vacation. Because we can still, I mean, even if this thing pushes over into the summertime, we can still self-quarantine. Mm -hmm. We can still do all of that. Social distance. We can still social distance. Yes. Oh, so sorry. Physical physical distance. Yeah. Not necessarily social. But physical distance. Physical distancing. Right. We can physical distance in we're gonna an RV. We're going to be physically distancing on our vacation. But. While we're seeing national monuments. And national parks. Hopefully the national parks are open. I mean, that would that would be the first Yeah, thing, we're right? not planning anything until we know that part, but. That's kind of what we're thinking. Yeah, like the national parks need vacation. to be open. Like, I feel like those need to be open B because like people drive mm -hmm. through them in their cars. Like you can limit the amount of, you know, there yeah. are options. Yeah. Open the national parks. Otherwise we're, we're, we're going to be like. I'll tell you where I'm not going. Where? Disney World. Mm -mm. Too many people, too many germs. I love Disney World. You wanted to go to Disney World so this summer. So excited. No way. Okay. So how long before... Because Roman's going to be one. So if, at some point in time, he's going to start watching. Maybe three. I think he needs to be able to get on some of the stuff. Maybe three or four. When he's three or four, we'll do that. We'll see where things are at that time. <laughs> you might have to like, put him put put him in like his own like personal, his own like personal condom. Like to like. <laughs> oh my gosh. Except Ew. for his face out. And then you'd be like, hey, son, here you go. Everybody's got to wear it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're going to put him in a condom, babe. That's Not idea. an actual condom, but you know <laughs> what I mean. But never, because I saw a meme. I'm going to, um, should I put it up? Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> the one the one I showed you where. Oh, God. 
<laughs> this is for, hey, hey, this is not for kids for the next 10 seconds. Boom. There it is. <laughs> <Stop it. laughs> hey, because because you know that's what dudes are out here doing. So if if you were single, mm -hmm. right, single woman, no kid or whatever, and you don't like if where there's a lot of people who live in other states, work in other states, all these things, and they're just they're all by themselves aside from their friend group. And if you're dating, how would you handle dating in Corona? And I you, don't and know. your and your dude lives, you know, twenty minutes away. I think dating gets put on pause. Would you isolate together? Because that's like if living. We are, if we are very, very, very advanced in the relationship, I'd consider that. But like, I mean, I'm saying like either engaged, you know, something there. I'd probably isolate together, but not. Not like some random. So like, so of, like, so like, how would you handle the get down? You know, when, when like you have your times where you want to, you know, have some adult time and get, and get down. Would you be, would he well, be coming I'm a, over? I'm a virtuous Christian woman. So there would be no get down. Um, I think you had a baby before you got married. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, so how would you handle it? No, but I'm, I mean, I am in a different space now. If I was, I mean, if I was 20 and social distance and, became a thing or physical distance came became a thing it would really suck when you, we were you know kind of in more younger relationships and not very advanced in that probably not really having um like you'd have like a lot of financial issues i don't know it would be a hard hard time yeah yeah because it because hard hard time i mean i don't even know if i would have anything for dating but i'm sure you would be struggling how would you i would have been it? hella upset are you kidding me <laughs> like like it was like a whole week never went went by so i was like i don't even know uh, how i would handle that hey kaden what's up buddy beeping. it's huh? beeping okay cool all right we'll be done in two seconds okay thank you sir one two <laughs> Kaden, come here. Kaden, come here. Come here. We're we're doing the wife versus the expert. Just keep I, I your thought head you in said and you say, hi. To say hi. Come here. The cutest kid ever. Come here, Kaden, please. Oh, now you're shy. Okay. Okay. Nothing has given me more joy and happiness in the whole world than seeing LeBron James try to get his kids on an Instagram live video when he was live with Diddy. And and his kids are like, no, no, no. And he was like, come on, man. Come on, Brody. Come on, uh, Bryce. Whatever. And they were like, nah, nah. And he was like, oh, man, these kids too cool for school. And I was like, oh, my God, it's not just me. I'm not the only corny <laughs> dad. <laughs> no. I was like, damn, even LeBron James can't even get his kids in videos. But you wouldn't think that necessarily based upon the fact that they do TikToks together, videos together, all of that stuff like we do. But it is a struggle. Sometimes it's a fight. And sometimes you got to be like, hey, yo, you getting in this video. Like, like I did the other day with yeah, the TikTok. Yeah, that was a little much. Whatever. Hey, sometimes you got to participate. Um, now it is time for everybody's favorite segment, yours and mine. It's time for what? Say it with your chest. Say it with your chest. I went first last time. You're up this time. Danisha. Okie dokie, go. I'm going to try a different approach. I'm not going to be so um, forceful about it. And we've kind of already touched on the topic. Um, I believe that as your spouse and partner in life that I have made certain sacrifices and adjustments for uh, due to our experience in coronavirus. Sacrifices? Yes. In corona? Oh, no, I'm sorry. You are talking. Anyway, um... I and I have made efforts to DIY and I am asking you to make those same efforts with regard to DIY so that would include fixing things around the house yourself that would include cutting your hair yourself and that would include no, we'll just start there. We'll leave it there. Just fixing things around the house yourself. I'd like to see a, an increased effort there as well as <clears throat> personal grooming. Time out. Personal grooming. You, you I, took my no, second No, stop. Away. 
You took my seconds away talking. So there. Stop. Go. That's it. Stop. Thank you. Um, and as you know, I can't respond to that. She just got a chance to rant. Just say it with her chest. Get it off. Now it's my turn. And go. There's nothing more frustrating and infuriating in the whole wide world than when you have a conversation in November about an expense or about anything. And then in April, you're having the same conversation. George, what 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 was this charge in no, on November 4th? What what did we get from Costco on November 4th? I don't know. Like, how am I supposed to remember what I got at Costco on November 4th? Like, at some point in time, like, or or if it's something uh, else that's controversial with us. We talked about it in November. We resolved it then. Why are you bringing it up again? We already talked about this. We already came up with a new solution. Let it go. It's dead. Just, but like I said, Denisha won't let stuff go. She'll just keep kicking the dead horse and kicking it and kicking it. <laughs> And kicking it and kicking it like Marshall Lynch over and over and over and over. Oh, and wait, over. stop, stop. You got two extra seconds. Okay. That was boring. That wasn't boring. That was facts. <laughs> okay, so the last thing up is so the opposite of just say it with your chest when you got to get something off your chest. Say it with love. Say it with, yes, say it with love. So glow style. Oh, um, <laughs> Okay, you're you're up first. Say it say it with love. No, you're up first. Go. You can just do 30 seconds. Okay. You look very pretty again. You've been doing your makeup, all this <laughs> stuff, but but I've been trying to tell her, like, I don't need all that stuff. I think my wife is beautiful already. Thinks she's intelligent, smart. And I've been thinking, like, I kind of want this woman to be a a, a housewife. Because she is getting so good at these domestic duties that she didn't do very much. And now she's getting very good at it. I enjoy it. Love her. Time. Love her. No, no, I want my whole minute. Okay. Um, so she's doing all these things. I really like it. Um, she's just so smart. She's able to like grow things. Like literally Proverbs 31, grow, increase your family, all of this stuff, whether it's love, finances, or whatever else. She does a great job and I appreciate it. Boom. I'm done. Aw, that was sweet, babe. So, hey, y'all already know what that means. Kaden, help me. Get your dad. Corny dad. Okay, <laughs> here we go. I would like to acknowledge you for taking initiative a lot better. There's been certain times where I'd be like, why do I have to tell him feed the baby can you feed the baby doesn't he realize the baby's hungry why doesn't he just go make it or we you know we know we're about to put the baby down go get the bottle blah 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 he wasn't doing that but now he is and sometimes he's like meal planning like planning ahead and being gonna take this full pork off <laughs> and um being very very uh consistent with working out and staying on top of like our walks and training Roman and that takes the load off of me. So I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate that. You're welcome. Hmm. Um, this is a good week. This is a good week. Last week we were all like, I don't know. I don't know about you. <laughs> well, that that is marriage. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys for watching The Wife Versus The Expert. Please make sure you share it with a friend. Listen to the podcast if you don't have your time to watch the whole video. Subscribe. Um, and also, of course, leave comments. Leave comments, suggestions, any of that. You can email us. It's in the bio, all of that. And um, you can find us on Twitter, at Denisha Danielle, at George Rice. I should change my name to at The Expert. Peace out. Catch you guys next week.